This video describes a new option for processing HiPack HSX side scan files in SonarWiz um, to override the sound velocity that was recorded with the HiPack data um, so you can improve the, uh, the range accuracy. We recently had a customer that recorded a survey um, in HiPack and the incorrect sound velocity was stored in every ping record. And so um, this option then allows you to correct the sound velocity by using the sound velocity that's defined in the SonarWiz uh, advanced preferences uh, section here. So um, the way this works is if you uh, import a side scan file that was recorded in HSX by HiPack, um, you can specify under the file specific um, options, you can specify whether or not to override the HiPack sound velocity with the SonarWiz sound velocity. The default, of course, is to have that option off. Um, I've already imported uh, this HSX file, as you can see here, and I've captured a contact, um, this very visible contact right here, um, using the default high pack sound velocity of 1500 meters per second. What I'm going to do now is re-import this file, and I'm going to turn on the option to override the high pack uh, sound velocity with the 1200 meters per second sound velocity that's in SonarWiz. And just to show you that you can adjust um, and can affect the ranges by um, by re-importing the data and um, uh, with this override option on. Okay, so we just imported the file um, in the bottom track real quick. And save that. And now let's go in and repick this target. You can already see that there's offset now between that the target that's computed, um, the imagery that's computed with the new sound velocity. So let's go into the, uh, the target picker and scroll down to that target. Here you can see where the uh, previous contact was captured using the, the high pack sound velocity. And if I add a contact now to the new location, you can see that uh, there's some offset based on the new sound velocity. So this corrects a very specific problem um, where you have a high pack file that's recorded with the incorrect sound velocity and you want to make an adjustment to it during post processing.